I think the next guest uh, is a kind of a cornerstone in the developer community movement in Spain and abroad. Uh, but I don't want to anticipate too much. Yeah. Just Let's the name. Not say so much. So, Andreu. Please <laughs> join us. Can we say on stage? On stage. On stage. On. And I think everybody knows that one name. Not even we don't have to say family name. Andreo. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of the community watching us online already knows. And she. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Andreo, who you are? Tell us. Uh, I like a word specifically. I'm a technologist. Technology. I love it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Technologist means abroad, uh, many, many different things, but everything related to technology, but with people always on the side. So it's, 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 it can be only focused on the technology. We are on community, so social persons are also very important. Great. Um, what, uh, what are your involvements in the community activities in this doing technology role uh, connect with people? So I'm having one hat, you see me? Yeah, I don't know. You That's not true. Uh, hats. Hats. There's yeah, more exactly. than one hat. Many hats. Many hats. <laughs> so we have to have it's a, not a glitch in the a story. No. no, 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 no. That's that's for real. So the point is that I usually have many hats. And regarding to, to communities, I am now wearing the the GDG Jada hat, that is my local community in Jada. Jada is a city near Barcelona. Every, everyone knows Barcelona, and not everyone knows Jada. Is is something like 100,000 inhabitants, not so much, it's a, it's a small city. Barcelona is well well known. So uh, usually uh, my and uh, my colleagues, because I, I I usually don't want to, to talk about me, myself. I, I talk about the community, the different communities. So we develop the local activities there. But then I can change my hat and Hello. get the other one. <laughs> Drum then, roll. Another one. And then we have the hat of GDG Spain. Is, is the one I have? That's yes, the one. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's correct. So what is, what is GDG it's Spain? It's like an unboxing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Russian doll. <laughs> there is still another one. I see. So uh, GDG Spain is, uh, I, I like to say it's, it's an umbrella. Uh, we are, you know, public knows uh, we are one of the most active communities in the world. So at some point we were something like 40 GDGs. I, I say at some point because, you know, pandemic stopped plenty of, of groups and so on, but at some point we were 40, that's a lot, and we also did many, many events. So we invented that word of GDG Spain like an umbrella in the moment that two different GDGs put together some action, two or more. Mm -hmm. If they want, if they want, they can use the GDG Spain umbrella. At the very beginning, we started something like 11 years ago. 11. That's enough. Yeah. With the concept of GDG Spain, 11. So people don't get the point, but now GDG Spain is a brand. A, a well, I will say a well-known brand yeah. in the community space. So they, they, they like to use it. And then as I said, okay, this, this is a, a YouTube channel. This is a Twitter handle. This is a few things. Use it, please. And they use it. Wow. You know, you mentioned you have a lot of experience, and I know you have been modest. Do not say all the things you have been involved with in the community space. Uh, but again, from these many experiences you you have, what do you think are the reasons that allow that make these activities possible? I would say the glue that connect everyone with everything. I'm not sure if this answer is going to be the one they're waiting, but uh, for me, the glue is the people. It's as simple as this. So, for example, we, we, we are having very nice conversations, very, very nice presentations at this event. Thank you for organizing. And then I, I just watched the, the presentation from the, the person from YouTube explaining about tips about YouTube. So at some point, I am not really personally, I'm not really interested in how all videos are doing in YouTube. I don't, I don't, I don't take too much time seeing how many views we have or, or how many engagement. No, the point is that, at least from my side, that I am usually organizing with other colleagues because GDG Spain is for me, it's, it's, it's whatever who wants. And I, I wish we are something like eight persons in the streaming team. So it's more about the, this glue persons that wants to talk about the community, not about a technology, about whatever other thing for other people. No, we are talking about our own things. Mm -hmm. 
course, we are technology, so we, we talk about technology, but we also talk about the social side. So the glue is the persons, are the persons, the persons, the persons okay. that want to want to communicate by them, in, in, uh, between them and then, of course, to the world. That's what makes you successful as a brand, GDG Spain, the people involved and commitment and passion. Hope, yeah. hope, yes. As I said, in the very beginning, it was something like a crazy, a crazy idea. But then after, with the, with the passion, I, I would say, we started before the pandemic. So lots of people started to do things on, on the streaming and online activities for the pandemic, but we started why before. Mm -hmm. To be true, we started just when Google launched a simple button in Hangouts that you can stream to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> it was the perfect, <laughs> the perfect moment because you don't have to have an enormous studio of technology. Just, just, yeah. uh, just a webcam, a mic, uh, uh, and a little bit of yeah, internet connection. Yeah, That's well, all, yeah. Well, it, it was not not everything. Not a mic. It was a, a laptop. Most of the time, we're a Chrome, a Chromebook. <laughs> so you don't need anything. Suddenly, this button disappeared. It was, it was sad. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you have a good meet, you all have the ability to, to stream to, to YouTube. Mm -hmm. And you know, you mentioned uh, the very beginning. So I think uh, you, you iterated across different uh, activities and activity formats. Today, what uh, would you do differently? Then you know, remembering some activities that you have done in the past. Um, I'm not sure about to answer, answer because um, there is not too much points I will change. No. Um, and for example, one, one thing we are doing now, and I'm gonna get out of this third layer. Yeah, oh, I'm, a, I'm like waiting bam. to see. <laughs> so, this this is an example so at this time for example we are launching new activities, new activities. The, the one I, i'm showing now is flutter yeah. yeah. so flutter is another another vertical in google i would say of the many many different technologies google has because it's an enormous company so um maybe to answer your question in the in the very beginning we were a little bit lost on what to talk about now we try to be a more razor thing talking about some stuff. So we just launched this. This is local because Flutter groups are, are meetup, local meetups, but we are not local because we are usually doing more broader things. We are doing things for, for data, again, for Spain and also for the worldwide because we have many uh, other technical communities that are from anywhere. So we, we are doing, we are starting to do vertical things for Flutter, for example, and in different language, it depends on the community you are addressing. So if you, we talk for <laughs> so people say, okay, you're talking in Catalan. Mm -hmm. Yes, so because when we do local events, we have to talk in Catalan. When we do Spanish events, of course, we will talk in Spanish. But if we address to people we have in Canada, in, uh, in Africa, in, in India, we have to talk in Spanish, in, in, sorry, in English. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it depends on the, on the public you address. So maybe the answer is this one, being focused on one thing, instead of 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 try to do try to many many many, yeah. many different things i think this resonates a lot with uh, what other creators have said today yeah. about uh, find your more than your niche your audience yeah. and focus on this kind of audience and in your case the audience is by technology but also by language so i really like these uh, two kind of verticals like uh, is a technology but you know english uh, connects all of us but there is also space for localized content because i think uh, uh, janice say this today like uh, there are still many many people that don't know english but have access to global resources have access to the internet so localized content uh, it's still uh, it's still a thing so, yeah. yeah and it's a way also to talk back to the community to your audience and connect with your authentic self again and, and as so, well and, and at some moments you connect uh, in a tighter way because when you you just to talk in a, in a in a local i would say local language i remember the presentation from this morning from the lady from the this area that says that they have something like a thousand languages yeah yes a thousand so yeah, it's I impossible was exactly <laughs> a thousand, so that's crazy but if you if you talk in the whatever not the singlish one that is very funny the name but in whatever other malaysian or whatever you get a more tighter connection with your audience, of course. Yeah, and yeah. again, it's all about connection. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. So, um, while running a community, 
I always ask a question to the people running the community or like creating opportunities for others to run. What moves and motivates you? Um, I'm going back to the history about what, what we created the, the GDG Spain umbrella, because I remember that I was talking with one of your colleagues. Uh, let me say hello to Andres Leonardo. <laughs> Almo. Yes. Uh, Almo. I was, we were doing plenty of things in Spain, many communities in, in the beginning. We were not 40, we were less, but we, we, we have, I, I believe we have a big impact on our local communities. Then I, I, I say to Andres, Andres, we have to organize something that it, it uh, joins all the force and also to have some external visibility, not not in your local local city or whatever area, but in the, in the whole Spain, because we are doing very good things. We are, we are, we are having, and then for this appear the DDG Spain umbrella. So I think this is the, the answer. Okay. So um, this is something that you know I also asked the mayor previously, like uh, what would be the suggestions you want to share with a person that you know wants uh, to start a community? Because it's okay to see what you have around, but generally we are exposed to the success cases, to something that's already mature or you know already in a grow or scale stage. But if a person wants to start with a community, what suggestions uh, you would provide him or her? If you talk about the broad sense of the community world, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus it on on the content creation. So since the very beginning, I tried to expand this short team, but with many more people, and I'm still incorporating people because at the beginning the, the, the was hard to convince people to just to come every week or every two or three weeks to make a, a podcast and stay for one hour long. In, in, in front of, of the mics and having uh, some script and so on. No, it's easier. So uh, maybe the answer is not stay alone, create this community talking about the content. So not not being you like a, I, I don't like to be a, a single content creator. I, I yeah. respect totally don't the people that- Don't be just a megaphone. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. I respect totally. Mm -hmm. We have Carlos Azaustre here with us. He's, a, he's an amazing content creator. I have a JavaScript, but <laughs> very good. That's a joke. A joke, of so, course. <laughs> so, Sorry to so, uh, <laughs> I always try to, to convince more people to join the team. And then this way, for example, for example, let me make a, a single 20 seconds announcement. We are going to start a new, a new podcast in a few Look weeks. at the camera if you want to be announced. We are going to start. <laughs> let me let me get through. I'm, I'm not wearing any hat now. And by the way, yesterday he had another hat. <laughs> yes, so I know true. there are four, at, least four. Yeah. at least four. At least four. The fifth one, it will be shown tomorrow. <laughs> so we are going to launch a new a new streaming. It will be a monthly a monthly series with our colleague uh, Miguel that will be focused on Google hardware. This is not something that people tell because Google has, I would say, a reduced set of, uh, of hardware, consumer hardware, talking about, not the, the, the other stuff. But we are going to launch a, a specific program, streaming series on Google hardware. We will review all the stuff Google has, pixels, tablets, uh, watches, etc., cetera, uh, assistant and so on. And we'll be specific for this with people that understand the product and try to reach other audiences. Great. Andrea, we still have a little bit of time, so I have a kind of a bonus question for you. Uh, you have done a lot of interviews, okay? What's the one you enjoyed the most? Enjoyed the most? There, must, you be, like the there most, must be a uh, long or... list and we must be there at the yeah, top because now, Fredo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to be an old guy, so... <laughs> <laughs> Apart, like, <laughs> after this one, after this the, the one. second. So, I remember one time that, that the most important newspaper in Spain, El País, is the largest newspaper, made me an interview, and, and I, I went to the last page, one of the most viewed. No, it's not the first only, it's the last page we would do, close the newspaper, and they made an interview because I, I started to develop applications for mobile in Spain. Nobody was doing that. I, I'm talking about all ancient times where there was no not Android, no not iOS, there were no platform to develop. You have to have developed something 
for yourself. Yeah, DVD. You <laughs> and it's funny because them. because you can still see my, my, the picture. Uh, they 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 send a photograph to Jada, 500 kilometers from here, just a photo. <laughs> you know that how this works. And he made me a photo with something like 40 different mobile phones, the Nokia old style, yeah. you know, oh, uh, yeah. because we started to, to work with. Uh, WAP, some more, Java, yeah, very oh, ancient wow. technologies, <laughs> and and this this was very very nice, very very nice because there were not too much people working developing uh, mobile applications, and we 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 developed some that has some impact. It was very nice. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. And then actually, I, I do have a question also uh, related to to your content creation, even though you're 40 communities uh, around Spain. Um, when you're collaborating outside of Spain, because I imagine that in Spain it's very niche, everybody knows each other, you might know, oh, I'm going to talk to so-and-so and we're going to do a podcast together. But how do you find those opportunities to collaborate outside of Spain? Uh, we do. Events? We have, oh, oh, events is another question. Yeah. Uh, talking about the streaming contents, we try hard to to do some something uh, across uh, uh, Atlantic, for example, doing doing things with South America that we have the language. Mm -hmm. Most of the South America also tells some kind of Spanish. So we try hard. We 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 achieve some 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 productions, but it's difficult to to work across with different time zones and and so on. With events, is different because you know the events is, is is basically a matter of budget. It's actually, if you have resources, now we have the GDA program that is fantastic because you have, you, if you find the, the time slot for the GDA that can come, that, that's better. But when you didn't, you, you want to, to bring other people that is not on GDA community, you, you need to find this, this, this budget to, for this. And, but we, we have tried, but on the, on the, on the content side, it's, it's been very difficult. It's been very difficult to, to, to jump outside of, of our Spanish, I will say, mm -hmm. area. To also find some collaborators outside. We did some, for example, with the cloud. We create, uh, in the very beginning, we, 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 it was not clear about Google Cloud. I mean, in the community sense, not, not remember, for the product. I remember. You remember because you, you leave it. <laughs> yeah. You were there. Uh, so we still have, for example, Google Cloud Espanol that is registered with the N, the Spanish N. Mm. And we do we did plenty of, of streamings together with the community of South America. And we still do some, some, some stuff, but maybe the pandemic killed that, killed that, slow it, it to 5% only. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that was a big challenge. Yeah. But for example, we're doing plenty of things with India now because India is growing like a rocket. And for some technologies we, we are used to working in our communities, we have, for, for example, the Flutter thing. India. Flutter in India is crazy people. It's, it's, is a skyrocketing over all the other technologies. So we are doing plenty of things with India and with other places. Yeah. So I think it's like uh, intercepting trends about, again, technology and uh, location and try to build something for this. Brand. And at some moment, yeah. great, for example, the, the, this, this is stuff of the Flutter we've been developing for, for, for the, the, since the very beginning, the, the, the inception, well, the, the, it was created, the language, but now it's, it's a very sweet moment. And we think, okay, is the is the, the moment to create something, something like another small brand to do things. We do many things flatter related, but now specifically announcing with the a world, brand on we it. are with a yes. brand. Because it's very important. The brand is so important. You have to have brands. You have to have a brand or brands. Mm -hmm. Because if not the message is not clear, it's 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 all. Yeah, I mean, uh, it fosters identity, it's important to be recognized, so yeah, I think this is also something that, again, you know, I think the same lessons uh, are like yeah, coming, they're coming over and back, over. Exactly. like it's important at some point of your community, career, Brand whatever, identity. like moment is like start yeah. branding, probably. As we are not on yeah. streaming, let me say, an anecdote. for example, we have this, this swap, we might it with our own resources. And before we had the, on the official Meetup Pro network from Google for the Flutter, the official one, we, we had the swag. So when we make some activities, it was like, okay, I like that. It's very nice. The logo is very nice. Having the, having a brand and image that people can, with an I mean, connect. of course, can connect is, is, is 
very yeah, important. Very stickers. Important. You know, we know developers love to put stickers on their own laptop. Yes. Uh, sometimes I, I, I was able to connect with people simply because of the stickers yeah. in our laptop. Oh, yeah. you were at that event. Or, it's, mm, I see this very strange technology on sure. your laptop. I'm also passionate about, let's talk a little bit. So it's literally mm. about uh, like a small clues that make a connection possible. It's good to remember that because I didn't look. I have on my backpack stickers for you. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I have those there. Can we get but I didn't also. remember to bring it to the table because I, I, just, I just was taking lunch. Yeah, yeah I have exactly. some for you. Yeah, stickers and, and pins. I think today I've collected a few pins also oh. from um, among the community. Nice. Uh, that we might be able to talk about one later. Uh, <laughs> great. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So, um, I will improvise a little bit. Do you have a question for us? For you? Oh, no, as, nah. as, <laughs> as what role? Huh? As what role? Uh, what role? What role? Ah, I don't know. <laughs> you have many hats. Pick up one inside. <laughs> no, I would say first of all, I think it's, 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 it has to be noticed. Thank you for organizing this. I know this has been a months long work, not only of you, but a huge team from many different places in the world to organize this. And I would say I was not expecting exactly this kind of event, but I am happy here now. I'm talking with the people, seeing the content and so on. Because, you know, in the, at the very beginning, I thought this is going to be another kind of, of activity. But maybe from my point of view, sometimes I, 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 I go more to the technical side. Mm -hmm. Um, because I, I am technology, so I like the technology. I, I spent many, many minutes behind the, the scenes, seeing how the operators, camera, so on. Thank you, thank you for your job, work, and the many, many different uh, equipments they have. But it's very important the other, the other content you add to the to the sessions, the talking with people in other situations. I don't know many personal, uh, not only technology but also community, of course. So I, I like the agenda and I like, like very pleased. And also I like the rain because there is no rain in Spain. So I, I will bring some rain to, to Spain. <laughs> I'll be <laughs> raining. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily for those that don't like the rain, it's only a few hours. <laughs> exactly. Oh, it's been almost a day raining. Today, yes. Yeah. Today, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Andreu. <laughs> Andreu. Thank you. Ah, a round of applause. Ah, we should literally have like, yeah. sound. We should have a some table. And press. Those guys, I'm pretty sure they have it. <laughs> some table. Press. So soon we will go back to the sessions. Uh, so do we want to remind the people following us online what's going to happen in the next three, four minutes? Definitely. Um, as we mentioned earlier, Alfredo did, there's going to be three live streams once again. We have the first session by Adriana Angelini. It's going to be on Collective Catalyst, igniting your community through shared actions. For those that are attending in person, that's going to be in the room Himalaya. And it's going to be on niche apps and personalized bots have turned single player products into multiplayer experiences within communities, becoming the ultimate portals to vibrant and engaged hubs. They're going to be talking about the new essential building blocks of community building that can transform mere lurkers into active participants. And then the second session that we're going to have in the room Agung for those in person and the second live stream for those joining us online is going to be by Michael Moran. Uh, the simple superpower of Mozilla Hobbs unleashing innovation through community once again, VR sets are optional and recommended if you session, have them uh, to have a more immersive experience. So Mozilla's Multiplayer XR project, which began in 2017 as a research experiment, um, is going to be really around uh, shrewd design principles and devotion to open source. Uh, how it's grown from a small research experiment to the platform of choice for hundreds of organizations and join the session uh, for learning about oversized impact of the simple choices that built Mozilla Hubs. And don't forget that in the third stream, we're actually going to have a podcast from Tarek Alabd, 
what should you do if you want to start your career as a developer creator? So discovering the key steps to launch your career as a creator in the podcast from mastering technical skills to building a personal brand. He'll provide also actionable insights for success in the dynamic realm of developer content creation. And maybe as a reminder, Exactly. Remember, you can ask questions to the speaker through Slido. You join, there is a QR code behind us, or you go to slido.com and insert the code DCOC, uh, Developer Community Online Creators. Uh, Developer Creators Online Community, sorry, but you know, it's still DCOC. <laughs> and you can ask questions to the speaker. By the way, do we have a question for Andreu? So actually, let me check if we have any online questions at the moment. Yeah, remember to select the room you want to ask a question to, so the session, and then put your questions there. Correct. So just refreshing our Slido. And uh, not at the moment, but we are collecting. But you have already asked plenty of them. Yes, so. <laughs> and we are collecting questions throughout the day as well. Great. Yeah. So, Andrea, once more, thank you. Thank and you. Uh, see you around. Yeah. Sure. Okay. We'll be there. See you very soon. Thank, Thank you. you very and much. for the ones online, again, let's go to the session. Yeah. And uh, you know what? We will be back. We'll be session. back. See you soon. Bye. Bye.